sweetheart. Sweetheart. Our sweetheart yeah. did everything. I like that. I'm going to use that. Yeah, love it. 615 <laughs> right now. We're talking weather. Uh, what's not sweet, Star, <laughs> is the forecast coming up here. Not only are we still dealing with some snow, we're about to start talking single digit temperatures soon. Oh, yeah. That cold oh. air going to come rushing in near the end of the week. So prepare yourself for that. But take a look at these numbers. We had the snowiest weekend we have had so far this season, and it did put a dent in our deficit, but we're still about seven inches behind normal for this snow season. We've had just under 10 inches total as recorded at the Indianapolis Airport. I'll take you through some of these observations. So one out of Speedway on our Cocoa Ross network, 3.7 inches of snow. That's a lot to shovel, especially when it's that wet, heavy snow that we did have. Westfield about four and a half inches, but I'm going to take you right back to Wisconsin. Of course, land of the snow where we did see those streets just covered in snow. Some of them got more than eight inches of snow really difficult travel out that direction and I'll tell you what it is a lot more hilly out there so it makes it so much more difficult to really deal with these conditions I know driving in this morning just the slightest hill that I go over really slippery really tough to get up way more difficult out that direction in hilly southern Wisconsin live guardian radar right now continuing to quiet down a bit we are still going to have some flurries today but we are not going to be piling up any more snow just some light snow downtown west side kind of tapering off past Danville Greencastle Rochdale. You're right on the edge there, so you'll see a couple more snowflakes, but nothing substantial. Franklin Greenwood Hensley Martinsville Mooresville just some scattered flurries throughout the course of your morning. Pendleton, you're also kind of on the edge on the opposite side there. So just a few more flurries for you. Carmel, Fishers, Sheridan, same kind of thing. Really going to be done with the shoveling snow, but still going to have to throw on your windshield wipers once or twice. Future view really doesn't pick up on very much here for the rest of today. Aside from our far eastern counties where some of that wraparound moisture does make it through and then overnight we stay dry and quiet, although we will continue to filter through some clouds. Right now, mostly cloudy, still some flurries of flying. 27 degrees as you're walking out the door in Indianapolis, so it is colder than yesterday morning. Plainfield, you're sitting at 26, 28 in Greencastle and 28 in Columbus. Shelbyville waking up to 29 degrees. That being said, we do have a wind chill factor and that wind icy out of the north. It's going to make it feel like the teens for the rest of today. Actual air temp only getting up to 29 blustery. That wind going to be blowing snow back onto the roads, back onto previously shoveled sidewalks. So that's why I'm saying uh, you're going to definitely want your boots. Otherwise, your feet are going to be wet all morning long tonight mo mostly cloudy low down to the teens tomorrow 30 degrees and partly sunny and we will have some dry time here Tuesday and Wednesday but some more rain expected on Thursday and as we head into the weekend single digits Saturday night the traffic authority powered by Tom Wood Automotive and right now it is 618 you can see a new red icon that just popped up up on the northeast side so it looks like that's actually a traffic signal outage there